on April 21st, 2024, in the Tarrant County Jail in Fort Worth, Texas, Anthony Ray Johnson was unalived by a guard, Officer Marino, kneeling down on his back after he was already handcuffed. And I have watched numerous reports and read several news articles on this situation. And nobody is addressing the elephant in the room here. What is the elephant in the room? The elephant is Officer Marino. I mean, this guy's at least 400 pounds or more kneeling his all of his body weight on Anthony Ray Johnson's back and suffocating him. It's absolutely ridiculous. These officers should be able to pass physicals and they should not be able to just be as obese as this man is right here it is absolutely horrific and because of that the two team members that were terminated was one officer marino rafael marino and he was using a technique that number one he was not trained to do and number two that we do not tolerate nor do we want done the second one was lieutenant joe garcia Lieutenant Garcia was terminated on the basis that not only was he there, he was in charge, and he was allowing this to occur. And uh, he is on the second floor. And they go to his cell, they open the door, and tell him to come out. He steps back into his cell, not wanting to come out, but he does put on a jumper. I want to play this back real quick because what I saw, it looked like the inmate accidentally bumped the guard, and then he stepped back and put his hands up in a surrendering position and then they attacked him then he comes forward and he kind of lunges at, a, at an officer and uh, made a statement of some sort One, another officer saw this believed it to be a threat and, and, and got him and tried to pull him into the uh, that area on the tier and then the fight began and I say fight it was a long fight and you will see it and you will see multiple officers attempting to control him without success. In fact, the officers testified that he had superhuman strength. And you'll see officers moving around. Then you will see him break away from them and grab a hold of a rail. He's on the second tier. The, one of the fear is, is he gonna jump over? Is he gonna push somebody else over? It was a very dangerous situation. He was pepper sprayed because nothing else was working, but it seemed to have no effect. And they finally wrestled Mr. Johnson off of that rail and onto the ground. And he was, he was finally successfully handcuffed after about two or three minutes of fighting. And then Lieutenant Garcia took over and gave some commands. And some of those commands was hold him here until we get leg irons. You will hear that. And that is when Officer Marino thought it was appropriate to put his knee in his back. Now Officer Marino was grabbed a hold of the rail. He was on his toes so that he tried not to put all of his weight on it. After that, a little bit of portion is that when he stood up after about 90 seconds, is that Mr. Johnson was non-responsive. Upstairs. Check 
Caldwell. Checked out. We didn't get shit. We'll bring him down to you. We'll bring him down to you, Don. We'll bring him down to you. Alright. Happy birthday, Sam. 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 They had initially been fired. They were recently reinstated and put on paid leave. You heard that right. A paid vacation. Given their jobs back. But they can't work. But they're going to continue to get paid. The Tarrant County Jailer and Supervisor fired because of what happened in this video just got their jobs back. The video shows the moments before inmate Anthony Johnson died while in custody. The family's attorney told them about the job reinstatement. In the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office, nothing surprises them anymore, but they were truly in disbelief. Uh, and, and you got to imagine uh, their emotions are, are everywhere. Attorneys for the jailer and supervisor say the sheriff did not follow civil service rules when he fired the employees. According to the Tarrant County Civil Service Office, employee terminations must be served in writing. The employee must be told the cause of the discipline and have the right to appeal to the commission. Both Garcia and Marino are on paid administrative leave. In a statement, the sheriff said he felt the investigation had reached a point to allow termination. He says, though I do not agree, under an abundance of caution, I withdrew the terminations. He also added... This is a troubling development, but I want to assure the citizens of Tarrant County that this does not change my commitment to getting justice in this case. So you felt some responsibility talking with them about this? Absolutely. Is the phrase in regards to your facility, don't do the crime if you don't want to die, an overreaction? That's absolutely an overreaction. And if DOJ or anybody else wants to come and take a tour and take a look at things, come on down. Sounded like a dare to me, y'all. Sounded like he was saying, I wish the FBI and the DOJ would come down here. I'll show them. But I think it's time that somebody investigate because this is over 60 deaths at that jail under this sheriff. So I think it is time the DOJ and the FBI start poking around over there.